Half the country are separated. The other half are getting divorced for the second time. This is a fake for her. Not us. We're going strong. That was a really weak high five, but <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> Howdy folks, welcome on back to you, me, and the TV, and it's time to dial up the wires again. <laughs> beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. Somebody just tapped my phone. And what's going on? What happened last time on the wire? I don't really remember. Knuddy was getting drunk like usual. Yeah, he was trying to f find out about um, Stringer's you know, legit businesses. And yeah. Unfortunately, all that stuff legit. Mm -hmm. It's all on paper. All clean. Yep. Unless there's like, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing. Forget about Stringer, but he's still going to go down that line, I bet. For sure. Meanwhile, Avon's about to get out of prison. He just had his parole hearing. That's right. That's right. And, uh, yeah. Omar had a failed looting spree where he lost one of his ladies. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah. Well, they're, let's jump into it. They're trying to move, uh, Calvin's trying to move uh, people into the uh, hamster dams. Yeah. All right. Pushing them into hamster dams. So we see what's next? Yeah. See if Avon gets out of jail? Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us for The Wire Season 3. Yeah. Check our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Want to come to access polls? I'll just watch next. Links down there. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram. So if you like social media, follow us. And if you don't, just forget about it. Let's watch The Wire. Here we go. Um, have you been eating those Twizzlers? Not very often. Are they good? Not really. Mm. Do you want one? Not at all. Part of being a soldier. I mean, that's true, right? That's what, that's what you say. Yeah, that's why I put all these models in these feet. You wait, you wait till you ain't a pup no more. See if you ain't looking for something a little more, a little more steady for your own self. A soldier? You're a soldier of what? <laughs> Doing heroin? I can argue the other side. Say that if you drop down a duck of charge, then you a snitch. You do it as a living, you, you're a professional. You gotta think of it like you're an undercover spy. Yeah, almost like that. Just for $20 at a time for your drug addiction. Uh, with the white man, I best be the bad guy. That way, he ain't confused. All right, meet me in the alley. <laughs> Turn on your wallet, or I'm gonna jerk this out of right out. What? No. Come no. On, I'm a poor man who ain't playing. No. 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 Money. Please, huh? Uh, hey. Okay. Hey, hey, leave that man alone. I'm... <laughs> here, here. I, I can't. I can't. I yeah, can't. no, no. You saved my ass. It's appreciated, you know? <laughs> Yo, Bubs, you won't fucking believe this. You know, that guy just pooped his pants a little bit. Bubs. Oh, Bubs just ditched him. Yep. He wants to go legit. Legit snitch. Right, legit snitch, <laughs> yeah. Being a good CI can't be easy. No, no. You gotta be You gotta hide your snitching. Right? Yeah. I mean, Omar knows Bubbles is a snitch. He always calls him one, but it doesn't seem like anybody else seems to know. No. Well, I mean, Bubbles is kind of unassuming, too. Yeah. Like, you, why do you care about the drug addict that's just coming to get his next fix, you know? I had such fucking hopes for us, <laughs> McNutty. It's just, it's just tough to find something a little bit better. Yeah. Uh -huh. Reminds me. <laughs> Your friend called again this morning. He says the job in it. If you're still looking. Yeah, a good job. He's gangbanging now, though. He's mm -hmm. not working the club. No. Or a bar. Nice of his old friend to call and remind him, too. Who's that? Fruit, who runs one of Marlo's corners. Careful, it got prints. Prints, huh? <laughs> he picked it up with newspaper. And if I show you where Marlo hides his Mercedes, Ben's will go for 15 $15, that's it? You're killing me out here, girl. All right, 25 it depends. <laughs> yeah, bank that for me. Bank it? For what? 
You got me a plan, girl. They only be wearing them big white T-shirts a couple of times before they chuckle. Get my hands up, sell them shirts in the corner. I'll make my nut come and angle. <laughs> what? I don't know. I didn't understand that. He's bank. He's got a plan, though. He's banking some money. He's, he doesn't want to spend it all on drugs. Yeah, I mean, that's great for him. How does she bank it? She just will put it in her glove box, yeah. save it for later? Put in a little Ziploc says Bones. bubbles on it. <laughs> Here you are giving them their own block or two, offering them a place to sell drugs in peace, and do they even fucking listen? It's a damn shame, too, because if it worked, you might have had a positive effect on the community. How do they get them to sell drugs where they want them to? Ah, oh, fuck this bullshit already. Is he gonna go talk? He's gonna go buy paper? Oh, I got this. <laughs> you know, more than enough to occupy me, really. Russell. Russell. You disappoint me, String. I had such fucking hopes for us. <laughs> have a nice day, officer. You're gonna have to get Stringer for corruption stuff now, it seems like. Not the drugs. Nobody. Like I said, fuck the politics for once. But there is a problem here, and I'm gonna do something to fix it. See, again, his... He's really trying to make a difference. It's yeah. weird because it's Littlefinger, and you're like, yeah, yeah he's gotta well, have ulterior motives. He's also just a slimy guy. Well, so. I mean, he's a politician. You gotta be a little slimy to get in that work, but a lot of slimy. Yeah. His heart's in the right place, sir. I don't. The commissioner is attempting to move this department from the dark ages into the 21st century. That means preventing crime by relying on computer-generated data, sir. I now understand that prevention is the way to go, and we'll immediately change our hours to reflect the data. God, they are just hammering these guys. Dennis says it. Cuddy works for me. Cuddy then. Oh, look at that mural. Oh. Look, I don't mean to put you out, but this, this ain't how I thought it was going to play. Isn't that the same priest that Calvin went to see a couple episodes ago about his issues about retiring and having no legacy? Could be. They weren't doing slow motion. Did any of them have a big scar? Do you think you'd be able to recognize any of them again if you saw them? Just Omar. Oh, so you know Omar. Omar came up around here. Uh, but he doesn't recognize somebody with a big scar. <laughs> Some kind souls begging to assist you in your foundering investigation. Let me just grand jury my man here, lock in the story. Now for the gun, later for his story. And that's your sergeant talking. That gun is a top priority. It's coming in their Comstats meetings. <laughs> you wipe your nose, yo. What the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> he took jewelry stores and came back with bags from both. By the time she caught up with our boy, she was wearing one of them shits around her neck. Gave the other one to him. You know, his or hers, like. Yeah, cut it. Robbed it? What they said? Hey. I think it sounds or maybe like buy it. I am. Um, he said hit it. I don't know if that means yeah. rob or just buy. He won't go near the street. He's insulated from the everyday operations of the corner. There ain't no way in hell a working police is gonna tie a can to his tail. So, Kintel Williamson, the Prince of Pimlico. Yeah. Where are we at on this mo? We haven't even seen him on the show no. yet. <laughs> Makes me think that we're actually. Not really going to be investigating him. We're going to come back around to Avon and the Stringer. Well, yeah, I've been thinking that the whole time. And whatever Omar's stirring up here. Back's where you belong. That way I ain't got to be worrying about getting my damn head blown off because you all scared and shit. Yeah. Now this time we're going to do it right. Y'all feel me? Going back for more? <sighs> Sir? You are my DU sergeant, right? I need a list of names. Well, maybe narcotics downtown or something like that. I don't know. We're knocking heads, taking bodies. I didn't know I was supposed to be doing a census or nothing. <laughs> Carver's dropping the balls of sergeant. Yo, I know it's clean. I get mine from daycare. I feel like it would have just been easier to not take the drugs and be clean. Put feet. your thumb on the scanner. What's your name? 
then it's wise. Take one of those, go around the corner to the second door. Well, it's pretty easy to fake your drug test with, uh... No, kind of... When nobody's watching. Yeah. Yeah. Me to you, George. What the fuck can I tell you? With all the street work, ain't nobody left doing high-end drug stuff. Special doctor. units group yeah. would. Uh, you, you will keep me in the loop on this. Yeah, absolutely. Councilman? He's not going to be in the loop on that. Hey, stop, girlfriend. We need to talk for a minute. Yeah, sweet thing. We met before. Nah, baby, but that can happen. Oh, she's shopping a lot, so... Hitting it means she's Spending getting all the sales. All the money. Hey, Nicole, girl, we want to do it. Now we going to talk. I mean business. Y'all saved my ass, so... Tell him about your boy, Marlo. It's in the files, along with every other mid-level player we know. You can round up these young men. Put a little Comstat on their ass. <laughs> He's gonna take him to a Comstat meeting. He's gonna hold his own kind of Comstat meeting, oh. tell him what's up. They need to move to Amsterdam. Amsterdam, man. That's what I said. All those in favor of going together, so we can get the best discount on New York package. Raise up. There's the guy there's supposed to be investigating, mm. right? Motherfucker, no, what is that? The Robert Rule say we gotta have minutes for a meeting, right? He's the minutes. Nigga, is you taking notes on a criminal fucking conspiracy? What the fuck <laughs> are you thinking, man? He's following Robert's rules of order, damn it. <laughs> you asked You've him to. He's trying to be organized. He's trying to follow the rules. This can't be too he's organized. He's doing a great job. It won't come off, yo. Drop. Oh. You keep going at him like that, ain't gonna be nothing left of him to make right what he owes. Oi. Bitch, you got to pay. <laughs> Hey, yo, check his pockets, yo. I don't think that's what he meant. No. Yo, man, I've been here for 26 months. You come pick me up in a motherfucking Ford. What's up, baby? Oh. What up, man? First thing first, man. Let's get you looking right. Oh, you know what I mean? Shit. Uh, yes. Yes. It's free at last. What's he going to think of all those professional meetings Stringer's holding? I don't know. <laughs> they find the guy? Or are they rounding up all the lieutenants? Yeah. Okay. You saw Riaz down the way for a sit down with our boss. Now we're prepared to take you with us right now. We can either do this the easy way. Oh, shit. Don't forget the face, cocksucker. It's gonna be a tomorrow. They were about to take them down. Yeah, beat their asses. Marlo's gang is really independent. Mm hmm I got over 200 sworn personnel, and I plan to free up every one of them to knock every one of y'all down they can. You on the corner in my district? It ain't gonna be about no humble. There's gonna be some biblical shit happening to you on the way to that motherfucking jail wagon. You understand me? <laughs> I thought you said these goddamn houses were faking. Must have missed her. There's one more thing I gotta do then. Ask her to move? Yeah. She's probably lived there her whole life. Now, I ain't sure yet if that dank be dank dank or inky dank or maybe fat dank. Then again, it might be flat nose thing. No, wait. Nah, nah, that can't be him. That dink dead. It's Peanut Dink. Man, do it have to be the cop's gun? Because if it's guns you want, I can get you guns. <laughs> You're talking to a cop, you dummy. <laughs> None of those leads are helpful. They're all just looking out for themselves. 
no information. Trying to get free of a charge. Man, we all, a bunch of us, got scooped up by the police. Well, you shouldn't sell drugs. <laughs> you shouldn't sell drugs. <laughs> the whole while, they was being all, like, decent and shit. And you know that fucked me up. <laughs> but I just thought you, you should know. That's it? Yeah, just that and, and the boy Marlo. Yeah, I'm on it. Stringer's probably like, oh, maybe we should take him up on this offer. Is Marlo's crew part of that co-op? That new day co-op? Was that the meeting? Mm -hmm. No, Marlo's like totally independent. Well, I know that's what I'm wondering if he's got a, like, he <clears throat> is his own man. He yeah, has he nobody. Stringer's trying to get Bodie to go talk to Marlo to get him in on that. Oh. It's a black Mercedes pulling out the night. Copy that. We got the eyeball. She's on Marlo. Bunch of them moved, huh? I'm gonna really rule low. You just got here. What's wrong? Ain't nobody around the bar. Good point. You gotta tell the people where to buy the drugs. I mean, you can't make me. I'm a sworn fucking police officer. He's like, I got the stripes. Do it. Oh, boss, you're fucking up, man. You didn't even let me cop before you snatched me up. Is that some fucking rule? They're putting the customers as they're buying in the <laughs> paddy wagon, them they taking them to, them to where the you're going to Amsterdam. This corner is indicted. You move over to Vincent Street, or we come back with the bracelets. These he's, he's drug actors are gonna be like, what? Why are we here? Oh, Stringer. Yeah. Sounds like a full court press. But you must admit, it's a bit like closing the barn door after the horse is out. I mean, shooting up the boy on the lot at Lake Clifton High School was a high-profile case, wasn't it, Commissioner? Yes, it was. And yet a key witness in the case was allowed. The hell got into you? Shit. You did, old buddy. You did. I'm pressing Burrell and that's not gonna help the case at all. This is Drug World. Welcome. Welcome to Hamsterdam. MD, right chair, right chair. I hear the uh, WMD is the bomb. <laughs> WMJ, right chair. WMD, right chair, right chair. Charlie's like, wait. Uh, Can oh. I break into one of these boarded up houses and get high oh. right now? Marlo making a move? Just watch. Oh. You close to a mill, right? You doing all right? You doing all right? But I ain't got your name on the crib, right? Ain't got you a little spot for you to wash that dirty money? That's what I'm offering you, man. Is Marlo gonna take him up on his offer? Huh? Whoa. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I like my pissing bottles. <laughs> Tell our people to tool up. I'm on it. Tool I, up? I'm guessing that's a no then. Yeah. And he's about to like strike make, while everybody make a statement saying no, we're not. Yeah. The hoppers call it Hamsterdam. Like from Amsterdam. Amsterdam. <laughs> Any problems, difficulties? No, not really. I mean, is the uh, math integration class for my oldest? He's in the sixth, seventh. Just not sure he's ready, you know, for all that math. <laughs> <laughs> She's sweet on him. <laughs> She's like, well, oh, he's an shit. idiot, but he's a hot idiot, I guess. <laughs> It's not very Catholic of you. We're very Catholic over. Guess as long as she's not on birth control, she's fine. <laughs> Free boy. Shut up. That escalated quickly. She's the one that, uh, what's his name, wants to 
run his campaign. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I was like, she looks familiar. So he wants to go to that school, too. Because they went Imagine. to that school together. Hell yeah, I've been working out in there. That's all you're going to do is work out. Might be a good place for a fat man to find his inner self. <laughs> Strange wearing a tux. <laughs> he hasn't seen a skirt in two years. Yeah, he really wants to see the skirt. Yeah. I gotta work. You gotta go. He's like, damn it, nothing's working. That whole Howard Street thing is going to take off, and you're going to be right there to cut the tie yourself. The senator is at this welcome home party? Not after what you've been through. I know, because I'm from the same streets. And once I had the chance to play a different game... He's on that one guy. He got a history of them. We over here getting high in the middle of all of this. And where the fucking discipline at, yo? Oh, that's, uh... Wises guys. Yeah. Don't you know not to stare at me like that? Yo. I gotta show you something. Look. He's like, fucking stop <laughs> cock blocking me, man. Man, you gonna love this? Trust me. <laughs> man, I mean, we making so much straight money, man. We could carry shit like this out in the open. In our own names. I'm like you gonna get you two grocery stores and make motherfuckers proud. <laughs> sure was, man. You was out hunting on a AK-47. Talk about I'ma go get Warren. <laughs> he likes the game though. Yeah. He doesn't want to leave the game. Hey yo, it's me, man. I left something. <laughs> something. He sent the ladies. They bought and paid for it from the get go. Probably. <laughs> Included the one he was eyeing all night. Yeah. Oh, welcome home, Avon. Yeah. Wow. Stringer's been making lots of legit money, too, apparently. Yes. Nice little sweep there. All right, well, what's on your mind after that episode? I mean, how do they keep a drug show going if the. Drug dealers get out of dealing drugs and go straight. Yeah, you know. Well, I'm thinking there's they, they're going to, have to start having to go after the big picture, right? The stuff we, that they were like keying that in on in has season been on the, one. That senator has yeah. been the dirty up. money that they were keying in on in season yeah. one with season like one the, with that senator the grants. And, and then we had the Greek last year, who's the source of their drugs still, but he's not in town anymore. Right. So I mean, they're going to have to go. They're going to have to kick it up and go after that stuff because that's where the big fish are right and at this point they can't go after drugs anymore because it's legal to sell drugs in Amsterdam. <laughs> so for now the only thing they can be doing it's still is not legal the it's murders. still not legal the cops are just choosing to turn yeah. the other eye we said uh, calvin was saying like after a while once they get all comfortable they're gonna yeah crack bust them right mm -hmm. right right now they can only really investigate murders if that's the case mm -hmm. And that's kind of what they're going after. Is that one guy had a couple right. murders so he was suspected of. So, meanwhile, Marlo had a meeting with Stringer, and did not seem like he uh, left quarterly. But quarterly, cordially. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, they left quarterly, but I said cordially. Did sound like that. Well, that's what you heard, I guess. Your ears are broken, <laughs> but uh. Afterwards, it seemed like Marlo's uh, ready to throw down. Yeah. Right, get, the, get everybody yeah, he's tooled not, up. He's not playing into that yeah. game, I guess. So I wonder if we're going to see what that meant at this next episode. Hopefully. Hmm. Definitely by the end of the season, I would imagine. Yeah. Hmm? Well, anything else on your mind after that episode? Not much. No? Excited to see where it goes now that Avon's back. Yeah. Where's Bubbles going to get information now that everybody's in Amsterdam? Yeah, let's go down to Amsterdam. What do you think? <laughs> Johnny's going to run to the Johnny. Johnny, man, they're selling drugs legally yeah. down here. you got to come check it out. Well, should we jump in the next episode? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's watch some more of The Wire. Here we go. WMD, got it, WMD. Oh, no, 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 no. Move it on. 
Drive. It ain't pretty. I think you just do drive throughs too. Right? Yeah. Up to a body that can't walk itself out by the emergency room. I'll back up you and your men. Jesus. All citizen complaints will be handled by Lieutenant Mello here. He's very friendly about that kind of stuff. Oh, oh throw their kicks in the sewer. Cruel. Standing somewhere? Fuck you! We embarrass you! Uh-uh. West Baltimore. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> oh, damn. Where are they taking them all? To jail? I got no idea. Just in the middle of the woods. Who are making walk home? Oh, they're taking them out. <laughs> I was like, where are we going? I didn't realize it was the van they put them all in. Just going to drop them in the middle of the woods? Drive away. Say, find your way home to Amsterdam. <laughs> what if they come out swinging? What if y'all don't take that shit down to Amsterdam tomorrow? Next time it's going to be West Virginia. That little star right there across from the dipper, that's north. You want to go the other way. <laughs> and they were never seen again. Right. <laughs> Bigfoot had their way, had, had, had his way with them. Just a gangster, I suppose. Avon Barksdale. Now you can actually have like actual lemonade stands and stuff on the corners. Is it working? It seems to be working. Oh, Grandma's still there. You know, he used to wear that hat on his own site. Code. No. Avon is not having it. Man, well, we should discuss this over lunch. Uh, hell no, man. I got elsewhere to be. Yeah, of course you want to discuss it over lunch. Big boy. <laughs> he's giving him the runaround. Think so? Yeah, well, he's, he's like, these guys don't know anything about building. I'm going to double the cost of everything. Stringer Bell is quiet. And if he's quiet, I don't give a fuck if we come back a year from now and find out he's on the Greater Baltimore Committee. This unit is about the bodies. Stringer's not killing anyone, you guys. So you're telling me it's a no. You actually did all this? Would it matter if I had? <laughs> Jay, I'm a murder police. I got a double on my plate. I'm going to work it. You're not going to find that gun anyways, if you haven't found it already. An independent with no fucking support got all the prime real estate and we doing what exactly? Young boy ran us off the corner? I'm losing my motherfucking mind, man. <laughs> Stringer's not liking that. How do you explain business to a gangster, you know? But if they don't come to me early and tell the true story, I guarantee they won't breathe a free breath until them cicadas come back. Y'all get the word to the right people. They ain't saying nothing, huh? Do you even have a suspect here? Uh, no. <laughs> My county doesn't need another murder. <laughs> Trying to turn a suicide into a homicide. Well, you keep on it, Councilman. A little smack here and there does this administration a world of good. <laughs> That's why we need new blood on the council. Keep everybody honest. Oh. Looks like they were I and Cedric, not. No, they're Cedric's wife. wife. They're trying to say she's not going to be a councilman. Uh, she's going to lose her spot. She's not the on election. the council right now. Yes, she, she is. No, she's. Going. Oh, she's going for, to run for it? Yeah, yeah, she's going to be running. Which is why she's making so many appearances. So many places. She's got a hooks in some lawyer. Money guy. Fuck it and fuck her. So what, you moving on? 
Yeah, I might have some fresh hope now you mention it. Yeah? The girl that asked you to get put your clothes on and leave? I feel like she says that no matter what. So what? You get a number? No, nah, not exactly. Hey, what kind of detective would I be if I couldn't track a white woman in Baltimore, right? <laughs> Do you think she wants a relationship with McNulty? No. <laughs> Cedric, maybe we could... I don't know. Right now, you tell me where you need me. Whether you want the Class A or the Class B uniform, and I'm there. He's kind of seeing somebody. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I could talk some sense in his head. Yeah, I ain't no suit-wearing businessman like you. You know, I'm just a gangster, I suppose. And I want my corners. So war, then? It sounds like war. I, I don't feel like another meeting with Marlo would be friendly. Nah, it's not going to help anything. Ain't no need to involve the police in none of this. Sound to me like he involved already. Kimmy, I told you, I got this. Omar's got to get out of jail free card from his court date. Mm. So. We saved up and bought this house. There were some white families still living in the neighborhood then. <laughs> this is the only home I know. It's all I've got. Now, you say you have a program that can place me somewhere else, but you ain't got no program for what's outside my door. Yeah, yeah he kind of placed that here. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie. Her house is lovely inside, too. Yeah, but there's no way she'd sell that. Nobody wants to live in this neighborhood. No. That's why he's giving her a place to live for yeah, free. That's why that that's why he was trying to do that. Black Donnie say he ain't having any of it. Say brother Muzon put a hex on all of us. The soldier you sent that us Cuddy, he gonna work out. You go out, you get Cuddy and get the best of the rest and you put a hurting on Marlo. I want my corners. Oh boy. You hear him talk about brother Muzon put a hex on him? <laughs> This is why we have a politically connected guy like that in the payroll. He goes downtown and does for us what we can't do for ourselves. Getting held up by, like, permits? Mm-hmm. But y'all hold tight till I call you. You got it? We gonna handle our end. You just make sure some fucking rope left out there for us. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feel like I'm just some damn decoy. Damn right about that. Oh, boy. How's that gonna go? Yes, but come on, Ray. Look, we just lost a witness in a drug case. We don't want to lose another one so quick. Finding the funding to buy a house mm -hmm. that a lady might not even move into. Where's she living now, anyway? She's on Vincent Street, Sector 2. It's a bad location, huh? No, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> he turned it into a really bad location. Yo, fella, strap up. Oh. This ain't gonna go well. <sighs> we should wait for the call. Man, we wait, he gonna get away, man. You're gonna... Driver got shot. They're both, it looked like Tree got shot too. I think that was a tree in there, right? Didn't I say something about waiting for a fucking phone call? You gotta, you gotta follow the plan. Yeah. You gotta have some of balls. And somebody black. This being Baltimore and all. She, is he gonna run? Looks like it. Oh, it kinda seems like it anyways. Prison and graveyards. Full of boys who wore the crown. The point is they wore it. It's my turn to wear it now. We're going to do this, right, Chris? We're going to do this, like yesterday, though. Oh. <laughs> he back it down. So you working your plan, huh, bubs? Dollar here, dollar there, Kima. That's oh, what he's saying. He's, he's buying white t-shirts to sell to all the to kids. All the well, kids. white shirts. <laughs> Y'all are too fickle for bubs, man. I swear. Little gift for you and your boys. <laughs> White t-shirts. Whitey sale, whitey sale. Whitey sale. I only 
that it seems to be rival gangs, but uh, what does homicide have? Fuck homicide. I'm asking you for answers right now, Major. Sir, my and men... You damn sure have none. My men are out there. That's what they're trying to avoid. It's happening anyways. Gangs. Assholes who don't like each other. He's disappointing. He was in this that world. He should know these some of these players. Yeah. He just went and talked to Marlo's guys. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's really letting those stripes down. Yeah. Speaking of them trumps now. Uh oh. Maybe. You seen that tape? Maybe you left it in the VCR. Oh. <laughs> Who the hell? Daddy, Frankie shared a sandwich with you. We hid it so no one else could eat it before you came home. <laughs> At least you don't have to worry about that in the VCRs these days. Well, we do, but... They're not going to put sandwiches in there. Uh, wouldn't put it past the little one to do something weird like that. <sighs> Police detective from the city. The one tried to turn D on Avon when he got pulled up in Jersey. He said... Maybe D'Angelo didn't take his own life. He said maybe it was something else. I think the gears are turning in there. Mm -hmm. Brianna's on the, huh, wonder what that's about. And you're the proud husband? <sighs> Not sure how that makes me feel. <laughs> it's just for show until the election next year. A whole year? <laughs> Half the country are separated. The other half are getting divorced for the second time. This is a fake for her. Not us. We're going strong. That was a really weak high five, but <laughs> I still love you. <laughs> you blame that on me. All right, well, you use your right hand. I'll use my left hand because clearly you can't use your left hand. Well, I should have went like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should have. <laughs> God, you're so embarrassing. Now she wants to be the big deal. What do you want? He wants to sleep with you. The Ming, the not even divorced yet husband with the white woman on his own. What about her, though? I'm going to do what I can to see she gets what she wants this time around. Nothing more than that. Rhonda's just like, but what are you going to do for me? Yeah. <laughs> when I work hard, this boy Marlo punking me, what am I going to look like? I'm going to go do this shit my damn self. Nah, man, you just this minute got home. Your name come up in a murder beef, man, they're going to pull your parole. Let me take care of this. We was thinking, man, me and Cuddy, you know what I'm saying? We can hit them and them ourselves, man. That way, there won't be no fuck-ups. Look, you two just get on it, man. And get it right. Trigger discipline. Avon, come yeah. on. Yeah, not ideal. Same as it ever was. I don't know, though, man. I mean... Isn't Cuddy on parole, too, or is he just out? Yeah, uh, he's... He might just be out after his term, after his... Uh, um... His sentence. I think he just got out. But he's he still, was in there for, like, 15 he years. He still has to do drug tests, yeah. so there's still yeah. some sort of parole there. But that shit was business. What you saying, man? My booty, what's up? <laughs> He's like, wait, what? No, nah, man. Not at all. Stringer's like, I'm the only smart person in this room. <laughs> I think he's he thinks he's smarter than he is, though. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Most smart people do, right? Yeah, just like you. Exactly. Most dumb people too. Just like you. <sighs> If you can't remember that much, then you can go the hell back to narcotics. And you can go to whatever the hell unit will still have you. Now get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> like, give it up already, right? We still haven't seen any investigation on the guy they're actually supposed to be looking out at. I don't, have you even seen Lester these last two episodes? No. Uh, the last, last one episode. just for a minute. Old Bruiser, he'd be blind behind that fortified half the time. 
Shit, you gonna have to dry him out just to get him on the stand. Besides, he done had a change of heart to that story. That's what I heard anyway. <laughs> Wasn't about guns so much as knowing what to do with your hands. Those boys could really rack. <laughs> he didn't flinch. Now where that girl fell, I saw kids acting like Omar. Calling you by name, glorifying your ass. It makes me sick, motherfucker, how far we done fell. Oh, he's crying. I mean, bunk. That was a hell of a scene. Laid it all out there. I thought Omar was going to give him something. I mean, I'm the one got the risk walking up to these thieving bitches with cash in hand. I'm telling you, Strang, the people running the city nowadays, they make the last bunch look sanctified. I mean, this is some shameful shit. It's probably all his idea to get his five. Hmm, could have been. Shit. We just killed a kid who was having an asthma attack. He's the one that shot. Yeah. And three, Tony Gray from the 5th District comes pretty close to telling me he's thinking about a run for mayor. That had split the black vote. You'd still need a player who gives the black middle class permission to vote against one of their own. You'd have to raise a load of dough. Hmm. So he's hoping his buddy runs for mayor mm -hmm. to split to the split black the vote. vote. Mm -hmm. Be a three-way race. I mean, if your friend Bunny Colvin's up to his ass and bodies, let him take all the help he can get. Not that you'd ever go behind anybody's back or anything like that. Right? We're never going to see that guy that they're supposed to be doing on case on. <laughs> Kima's giving him bad ideas. Uh, I'm not sure that I can justify a full term for you. Now, I hate to say it, but there it is. <laughs> what dangerous people up in the Northwest? Like, your war is only going to get worse, Major. You're willing to backdoor your lieutenant like this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> It's a tradition at that department. You can hear it hitting all the other cans up there. Couldn't squeeze the trigger. Couldn't do it, man. He lost his edge. They ain't in me no more. I mean, you gotta respect that, right? I ain't making myself clear. The game ain't in me no more. None of it. Ain't I gonna respect that? Hopefully. You know what I'm saying? So what you gonna do? I don't know. But it can't be this. Back to mowing lawns, I guess. We straight. He's like, really? Yeah. He's like, you're not gonna kill me? <laughs> you can tell he was scared from like what he just witnessed and also like what he's like feeling, like what he had to say. To stand up for himself. Because yeah. of the consequences of it. He was a man in his time, you know? He a man today. Avon respected that. The honesty. Oh boy. <laughs> Here he is, Bunny. He's about to get his directive. Cedric Daniels to the rescue. Man of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> McDuddy with the Colvin. Colvin's like, we gotta. I got a problem. Focus on this. I need a task force. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna reassign him back to Stringer oh, and man. Marlo and Avon. Oh boy, that's funny. <laughs> Went around the lieutenant. Yeah. Oh, now he's gonna get his way. I mean, it, it felt like that was coming regardless because yeah. we haven't even They've seen been, anything. No. No, like, I'm sure Prez and Lester are probably like staking him out. Nah, probably not. Got them on, well, on their wires right now, and that's why we haven't seen them. But they haven't right. even shown us any of that. Yeah, exactly. So that was never in the plans. Yeah. All right. Well, what's on your mind after these two episodes? Well, I'm excited for Cuddy that 
he can that he yeah. i mean he fell back in and then now he's realized no i've got no taste for this anymore it. yeah it's not in my blood anymore so good for him he's gonna have to figure something else he's gonna out go back to that priest and maybe try to work his way up to yeah, that job probably yeah. always disappointed in mcnutty i'm proud of bubs too he's yeah. you know trying to make some business moves in his own weird way <laughs> he right? did that he did that too he was had the hats he was selling yeah he, you, you, when that was more one, like a ruse though yeah, yeah but he was still selling hats but he made sure not to sell red hats because those were for <laughs> special pictures i don't think anyone was buying those hats you don't think so no well i think mcnutty is he is on the right trail i think daniels was just i know just everything else about him is just so gross yeah he's just a gross person <laughs> Just, he just has flaws. Yeah, He's nothing but flaws. And then when his love life isn't going right, he drinks a lot. Yeah, not think, my kind of guy. Think he's gonna get back together with that uh, campaign lady? He better. thinks he is. So, <laughs> <sighs> hmm. I'm trying to remember, like who went down this episode? So two guys from Stringer's crew went down in the drive by, right? The failed drive by that didn't go to plan. Mm-hmm. And then they got one back in retaliation. Mm-hmm. So that is just ramping up because Avon's not going to yeah. sit tight since it's not even. And Marlo is not going to sit tight. We have we didn't see Marlo's reaction to losing one of no. the, that kid. So Avon and Marlo want to be gangsters, so they're yeah. going to be gangster about it. It's going to get heated up. Do you think we'll hit that, was it 275? I think we'll break that number. It's not even October yet. I mean, I would venture to guess two, yes. They're at two sixty, <laughs> yeah, two seventy five by the end of the year, yeah. and I'm assuming um, only five a month for the next three months. Ugh. Well, is it a calendar year or is it a fiscal year? I think it's a calendar year to go by statistics. Okay. So, I don't. Uh, we just saw three in two days, so five a month is likely to happen. Yeah. I'm nervous to see what Marlo is going to retaliate with. Yeah. Because he means he's, he's he means serious. Business. Mm-hmm. So, meanwhile, uh, Bunk and Omar had a heart to heart, or yeah, Bunk let it all out, and Omar felt it real good. Mm-hmm. What's Omar gonna do next? I don't know. Because they were gearing up to hit that house again, right? Get Turn the on him, revenge. or do you think he's gonna give Bunk Play some CIA info? Again? You think he's gonna yeah. give Bunk some information? I would I guess mean, he could. Tell him what happened and not rat out his friend and say she's got winged by somebody else, right? Mm. Even though they both, everybody knows that it was friendly fire that got her. But he could say, we were trying to hit this house and I don't know, shit that, went wrong. That, that helps Bunk in any sort of way. Yeah. Well, I mean, it gives him somebody to look at for the bodies kind of thing. But I guess technically they're the only ones that shot anybody because they friendly fired their own yeah. and then shot that one guy in the street. So... I guess they are the guilty parties for those two murders. Yeah. It would be Omar having to snitch both of his last two allies left, right? What's her name? Killed the another guy. And, I don't and think he's going to do it. I yeah. don't know. All right. Well, anything else on your mind? Not much. Who's going to win mayor? Couldn't tell you. Yeah. You even, I don't even know if they've talked about when the next election is. Next year is the next election? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Well, what should people comment on after these two episodes? Favorite of the new characters that we've seen so far this Yeah, we're halfway through season, season three. So we got like Fruit, Cuddy, Marlo, Cuddy, uh, Tommy, the mm. congressman, councilman. Who's your favorite new character in season three and why? Yeah. Without spoilers for the future. Exactly. Also, thanks for hanging out. Come back next week for another two episodes of The Wire. Yeah. Check our Patreon link down below for an early access to our videos. One commentary access to polls. up. So pick what we watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Till next time. Have a good one. Bye.